now conversion between the canonical forms okay so replace summation with pi and replace those j's that appeared in the original form with those that do not that do not see let us see an example f1 of a comma b comma c equals this is what the expression and the min terms for the for this particular expression is m1 plus m2 plus m4 plus m6 and the max terms for this expression is the terms which are not the min terms those are nothing but your max terms okay so these are the min terms apart from these terms the remaining all other terms are considered as the max terms okay so if any expression is given and if you are asked to find out the min terms and max terms so this is how you are going to find out the min terms as well as the max terms now let us see the standard forms so up to now we have seen canonical forms where canonical forms uh, can be of two types that is canonical sum of products and canonical product of sums now standard forms are not similar like the canonical forms uh, let us see standard forms are like canonical forms except that not all variables need appear in individual product or sum terms it means it means uh, every product term as well as sum term in the canonical form contains all the variables but whereas in case of standard forms uh, they may or may not contain all the variables within a sum term or else a product term so let us see an example uh, with a function f1 of a comma b comma c equals a complement b complement c plus b c complement plus a c complement so it is a standard form why because here if you can see here a b c are the three input variables in case of canonical form all these three input variables might or definitely they will appear in each and every term but whereas in case of standard forms they they may or may not appear in each and every term okay so the same standard product of sums okay conversion of sum of products from standard to canonical form so what we have to do in order to convert a sum of product in the standard form to the canonical form expand non canonical terms by inserting equivalent of 1 in each missing variable x that is x plus x complement equals to 1 so remove duplicate min terms so these are the two things which we have to follow in order to convert a uh, standard sop to canonical sop okay so what is the first statement that is we have to insert equivalent of 1 in each missing variable x okay so let us take an example a complement b complement c plus b c complement plus a c complement so the first term includes all the input variables now when it comes to the second term it it contains only two variables that is b and c but whereas the other variable a is missing so what we have to do we have to insert the equivalent of 1 in each uh, in each missing variable that is x plus x complement so x x plus x complement is nothing but 1 so here we have to write in place of x it is substituted with a so a plus a complement into b c complement in the same way here b plus b complement now expand this a complement b complement c and a b c complement plus a complement b c complement plus a b c complement plus a b complement c complement now what is the second statement remove duplicate terms in the sense if one term for example if one term uh, is used many times then we have to remove that then we have to remove that so here uh, if you can see here a b c complement a b c complement are used twice here that is more than once therefore we have to consider only once only once uh, regarding this particular term so it becomes a complement b complement c plus a b c complement plus a complement b c plus a b complement c complement okay so now this is the sum of product terms in in canonical form okay now conversion of product of sums from standard to the canonical form okay again here we have to follow two statements or two rules expand non canonical terms by adding zero in terms of missing variables and using the distributive law so here in uh, in case of uh, sum of products we have used or we have added one but whereas here we have to add zero that is x into x complement equal to zero remove the duplicate terms so similar to the 
similar to the conversion of sum of products but the only difference here is we have to add 0 by using x into x component. Take an example here. So here the second term is missing with the variable a and the third term is missing with the variable b. Okay. So expand it now dot write the first expression or write the first term and then uh, it is added with a a complement and it is added with b b complement. Now expand this and this is what you are going to get. Now we have to remove the duplicate max terms which are nothing but if any max term is appearing more than once in an expression that has to be removed and we have to consider only once. Okay. So here it is appeared in here it is appearing more than once that is uh, two times therefore we have to consider it only for one time. Okay. So this is how we are going to convert uh, the standard that is standard sum of products to canonical sum of products as well as standard product of sums to canonical product of sums. Okay. In the next session we will discuss about the logic gates and uh, how to design or how to analyze any kind of electronic circuit with the help of logic gates. Thank you. In the next session we will discuss about the basic logic gates. Thank you.